I think that my job, my role here in the company helps me keeping the enthusiasm because routine does not exist at mm -hmm. all. Okay, so uh, today uh, I heard we are talking about, you know, uh, about uh, the people the, who service a long time for Fujifilm. And uh, I recognize uh, you started to 1992. Yeah, yeah, the end, yeah yes. it is uh, ex uh, actually the one uh, I started one year earlier. Yeah, okay. 1991. So for me, the 31 year and for you, 30 years. Yes, yes. Yes, it was. Um, it is a long time. Yeah. And for me, yeah. it seems like it was yesterday mm -hmm. because uh, the work is so um, speedy that. Yeah, yeah, gone very quickly. Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, same for me. So you developed your career all the time, the so Fujifilm, for 30 years? Yeah. And, uh, uh, but actually, so I can ask you though, what to do or yeah. what do you do today? I came to Fujifilm very early because I came with uh, 21. I was in the university at that time and I came for a, a small time period job and mm. I came to, um, to, to be here and, and, and not leave Fujifilm because the role was always changing and I handed the, the university right. and uh, uh, I'm still here today. Well, my job, it was um, for many years all, uh, regard, related with the marketing. Uh, and now currently my, my position is uh, responsible for corporate communication in Portugal, brand mm -hmm. communication. And I also accumulate the role as a manager for marketing for consumer areas. Both roles are very connected in not terms of communication, but uh, on regarding marketing, uh, there are several um, tools that I've been developing over the years um, in order to be updated. Mm. So do you think, you know, the, or compared to the 30 years ago, the, the brand recognition or the brand image in the Portugal been changed? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because <laughs> yeah, because if we get, get back to, to 30 years ago, uh, even digitalization was not uh, yet mm -hmm. uh, because it came on, I, I don't know, but 2000, I suppose it was yeah, the, well, year of the mm -hmm. yeah, of the mm -hmm. challenge. Yep. Uh, and uh, um, of course, um, at that time, uh, the brand was uh, mostly recognized uh, for photogra photographic film. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, when I entered the company, Fujifilm for me, it was a photo film company. Yeah. And uh, uh, within these last years, um, I would say 10 years, the company, the brand image has developed a lot because uh, it started to be recognized on other areas besides photo, yeah. uh, as well as graphics. And mm -hmm. now, uh, healthcare. Healthcare has been, of course, it's the global strategy yep. uh, to, to enhance the, the healthcare in the market. But nowadays it, sees, it, it has been seen as a global brand uh, and um, it's covering several business domains. And of course, yep. this has been a, um, well, a big, a big change uh, in yeah, the yeah. way we see Fujifilm. So, yeah, so how you can keep your enthusiasm? <laughs> to work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that my job, my role here in the company helps me keeping the enthusiasm because routine does not exist at mm. all. And um, it's always very demanding and challenging. Not only the world is changing, but also our company and luckily. So, uh, so, you, you, so you, your boss is chal <laughs> challenging? Yes, <laughs> it's it's very, very challenging and demanding. Yeah. Always mm -hmm. uh, the flexibility here, mm -hmm. um, it's very important. So mm -hmm. it's uh, not um, very difficult to keep enthusiasm here. Mm -hmm. So what is your uh, favorite aspect of your job? Okay, I, I think that Fujifilm has kept me here by changing constantly mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. my, my, my work and then somehow it feed my enthusiasm and my dedication here. Mm. So uh, I think that um, that's what motivated, uh, of course, my stay. That's very good. Yeah. So uh, I think it was a, a, the company we were constantly being challenged by, you know, all the you know, different the 
technology or environment or the customer's market. Uh, so oh, I think you know oh, you also together uh, you uh, constantly uh, developed uh, your uh, skills or the the know-how knowledge. So what are the uh, your soft skills uh, to guide you or to conduct your work? I think that not only my soft skills, but also the skills I think it's needed for, for the, the, the task, the, the work I do. I would list, uh, there are so many, but I would list for in, uh, creativity, curiosity, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the ability, of course, to communicate is essential, but also um, willingness to, to learn and also to listen. Mm. Um, it's very important in the role I, I, I have both on marketing and communication. The spirit, some spirit of uh, collaboration within the, the several departments and business areas of the company, mm. it's also important. So I think this is the, the skills I, I, I consider the most um, yeah. important ones. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think, you know, absolutely. So I am keep asking, you know, all the, you know, my team and the management team, so our as a mission is to create value, not to just say, you know, uh, import and uh, the selling. We just, you know, how much, what is the value we can add and create. So I think, you know, all the marketing and the communication is, you know, the crucial part of the, uh, our mission. So I think you are taking a very important part. In the thank you. Thank you, Toshi-san. Thank you. So, okay. So, uh, okay. So Fujifilm. I really appreciate your loyalty and uh, the hard work. And uh, what is uh, uh, the goal in your uh, own life? And uh, how the Fujifilm the fit in your own strategy, your personal strategy okay. uh, as a woman, as a professional? Okay, um, my 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 goal, I would say, uh, the, it's the the all people's goal. It's to be somehow happy and satisfied. Uh, in life, uh, both personally, but also professional, because those these two things are very integrated, are very yeah. related. Yeah. But um, I would say that uh, the innovation and creation yeah. and yeah. The, the possibility I have to express uh, my creativity and my, my yeah. skills and the, the possibility that the company um, gives me uh, that uh, I'm sure it, it will keep me uh, happy with the with um, the very small aspects of every day because mm -hmm. we cannot st uh, say that I have a goal, uh, a one sole goal in the future. No, no. My goal is to keep uh, feeling um, ut um, I, I would say useful to the company and motivated uh, by expressing uh, my feelings and contributing to the to the company um, wellness yeah very very good he has that kind of statement now you know after uh, so many years i think you know uh, you've been you know the quite critical part or important part of the uh, fujifilm portuguese the success and i regard you know fujifilm portuguese is you know one of the, you know, the most successful successful you know entity or country uh, even in uh, the Europe, so uh, I and I know you know I, it's almost difficult to ask you this question. So, what is you know the greatest success in your career or in your uh, life of the Fuji film? Yeah, well, I cannot say that it was uh, uh, only a success, but uh, uh, some of small uh, achievements which mm. came from not only for the success of a sales of a product, but also for um, overcoming difficulties in the market, because over this time, over these 30 years, there was several difficult uh, crises in, in, in the world or, or, or national wide. So yeah. overcome difficulties and of, of course, also restructuring of the company, mm -hmm. which uh, we uh, succeeded, as you uh, Toshida said, that we um, are somehow an example, the Portuguese team. So uh, I think these sums and these results that we have achieved re made me feel really realized and fulfilled in the company and the role I do in, in the company. Yeah, so yeah, thank you very much. So I think that it sounds to me is, you know, all, all the success and the achievement uh, you experienced is a, uh, it's not just a one big, you know, um, 
the, the thing, but you know, or, uh, every day, day by day, you build up all the, you know, even you know, or small, but there's a many, you know, uh, the steps uh, you build up. Uh, that's why, you know, you've been uh, uh, successful as well as the company's been successful. And uh, probably it takes, uh, you know, uh, a lot of things. So, so intelligence, so wisdom, or, you know, more open-minded, the uh, attitude. Uh, sometimes, you know, or under the challenging situations, uh, sometimes, you know, you have to be patient. Uh, or most, uh, more importantly, you know, we always to be the, you know, the courage to change or, or success. And uh, it sounds, you know, or you have uh, all those, uh, you know, the aspect uh, quite naturally. So I'm really impressed uh, what you're saying. So oh, the before closing, I'd like to uh, thank you, Isabel. So for the uh, supporting the company for over 30 years and uh, dedicated. And uh, uh, Fujifilm, thanks to you know uh, uh, your contributions. Uh, thanks to uh, Fujifilm Portuguese and the Fujifilm Europe, uh, been you know, uh, successfully transformed uh, our business uh, portfolio. As you mentioned, you know we started you know film very analog oriented to the digital, to the healthcare, and uh, we never stopped. So uh, uh, the today is unfortunately we met uh, again the virtual way, but you know uh, we are about to move to the uh, new headquarters in Latingham. So uh, I hope uh, we can see, we can welcome you uh, in the Latingham new headquarters uh, sometime in the spring uh, as early as possible. Yeah. Okay, I really hope so, and thank you very much for your kind you. words and for this interview. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.